604 hundreds of Syrian refugees coming to Metro Detroit in search of a new home. It's a plan that's causing controversy this morning. Our Nima Shafei joins us now live from Pontiac with more on what both sides are saying. Nima. Malcolm, good morning. A lot of states have put the brakes on allowing Syrian refugees to settle within their area. But if the feds tell us this morning, if they have their way and the Syrian refugees are allowed in this country, there's no way to stop them from settling in our backyard. The issue causing a lot of controversy here and divide in with people in Pontiac. That's where a developer plans to build a community for Syrian refugees. Ismail Basha bought 120 lots for $250 each behind Old Franklin Elementary School, and he wants to build up the neighborhood for about 200 Syrian refugees. Construction expected to begin in May. But now Oakland County Executive L. Brooks Patterson is coming out against the idea. They're putting in a village in right in the middle of the city of Pontiac, and that will attract more over time. And I'm just concerned, even among the families, that he says they're families, that uh, you know, these, uh, these, these, these terrorists are hit Paris. They had families. There's also this humanitarian crisis that's going on, and that uh, we do want to support uh, the efforts of people who want to find uh, freedom, and uh, this country is made up of immigrants. The city council meets tonight here behind me at City Hall. We'll be there. We'll keep you posted on what happens. As for the backlash from Elbrooks Patterson, his county treasurer, Annie Meisner, speaking out this morning, saying in short that Elbrooks Patterson is politicizing what's going on and that each one of these refugees would go through an extensive, exhaustive background check. Well, the reality is we don't know that'll happen. That's why a lot of this is causing an uproar. There is also going to be two public meetings, those two public meetings for the people of Pontiac so that they can actually speak in agreement or in opposition of this planned development. We'll keep you posted on what happens. I'm Nima Shafay, 7 Action News. Thank you, Nima.